Following the big LA card this past weekend, Turkey Al Al Sheikh has given an update on his plans for the next year. On X, he wrote, Just wrapped up an important meeting now with my team, planning for the upcoming fights that we will make for 2024 2025. I decided to disregard the Canelo fight, presumably he means with Crawford, as I don't want it anymore. Instead, I'll be focusing for the US market with bigger fights, especially for the legend Crawford. Additionally, I will support making fights for Boots, Haney, Shakur. Ortiz, Anderson, Benavidez, Zapida, and more. Regarding Tim Zhu, there's something unclear with the communications from his team with our team, so I believe I will reconsider his situation. And for the rest of the world, definitely I am focusing on the Riyadh season card, Wembley edition, 21st of September. And depending on the results of Riyadh season's opening card, Bivol versus Baturbiev, on the 12th of October, I will build the card for the rematch of Fury versus Usyk on the 21st of December, and another big card in the first quarter of 2025. Stay tuned. Okay, so some interesting things to pick through here. First of all, he seems to be saying that he's not interested in Canelo Crawford anymore. And if that's the case, I'm happy. Because based on Crawford's performance against Madrimov, I know it's a different style to Canelo, but based on that performance, based on the fact that he was unable to make the kind of impact on Madrimov that he's been having on welterweights, I don't much like his chances against Sol Alvarez, who is, of course, two weight classes bigger. He then talked about making fights for Boots, Haney, Shakur, Ortiz, Anderson, Benavidez, Zapita, and more. Now for Boots, the fight I want to see is against Terence Crawford. I hope that Turkey El Sheik intends to do that one. Devin Haney, well, not sure what's going on with him right now. He doesn't look like he's going to be returning to the ring anytime soon, judging by his weight. Shakur Stevenson, I want to see him fight Tank Davis. There's talk of him taking on Zapita, but the Davis fight is the one I really want to see next. Virgil Ortiz, well, there's talk about Turkey El Sheik having Crawford fight Ortiz at 154, presumably. Anderson, well, that's Jared Anderson. Interesting that he hasn't abandoned him following his loss to Martin Bacoli. I think that what Turkey El Sheik has shown in the Riyadh season cards that we've seen so far is that as long as you give it your all in a fight and make it entertaining, even if you lose you may still be given another opportunity, kind of like what goes on with UFC. So I'll be interested to see who they try and match Jared Anderson with because the people who they have brought back after losses have generally been matched quite tough. So we'll see what they do with him. David Benavidez, we know, is being lined up to fight the winner of Baturbia versus Bivol. Zapida, I've already spoken about regarding a potential matchup against Shakur Stevenson. So yeah, interesting developments. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section below. Is there anyone out there who's disappointed to hear that Turkey El Sheik is no longer interested in making Crawford versus Canelo? And if so, why? Give me your reasons in the comments. Personally, I'd like to hear Turkey El Sheik's plans for Zheli Zhang, Martin Bacoli, and Jerome Miller in particular. Those three heavyweights. Miller Zhang, Miller Bacoli, or any combination of those three heavyweights I'd be perfectly happy with. I know Martin Bacoli's been calling out the likes of Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois following his win over Jared Anderson, but how realistic are those fights for Martin Bacoli right now? I'm not sure. If AJ beats Dubois, I'd have to imagine he's looking to wait and see who wins out of Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury if that fight goes ahead. If Usyk wins the rematch, don't be surprised to see Anthony Joshua target Tyson Fury anyway, especially if Fury gives a good account of himself in a losing effort. Beating Jared Anderson is obviously not a bad thing for Martin Bacoli, but it doesn't exactly put him in the upper echelon of heavyweights as far as commercial value, right? Now, I'm not saying that Martin Bacoli shouldn't get a shot at the world title. That's not what I'm saying here at all. I'm talking about whether he actually will, how realistic it is for him to be getting a shot in the near future. As I say, I think it really all depends on how the chips fall in these two upcoming world heavyweight title fights. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about all the information I've given you in this video regarding Turkey Al Sheik's plans.